Hello everyone, and today we're back into some more Lumion Legacy PvP, and today we are showcasing Sinogre. And we're running a defensive Sinogre, so we got Robust Clever with Health Amulet, Provoke, Spite, Poison, and Spectral Burst. The plan is, Poison Lumions, Spite Lumions. You could also provoke them, because why not? And I got, and I got Villiant, so I can't, I can't fall asleep in battle. And these are the TPs, it's pretty much in all of the defenses and health, so that is the strategy. And there are a couple of Lumians I can use it against. Yes, there is a Terror Claw. Yes, there is a Wrestling. Yes, Terror Fly not so much, but I can try, I guess. Zulong looks a little scary, but that's why I brought a couple things for it. Uh, Munchwill could be good, but I think I'm gonna bring this for the Tatub. And I'll bring you because I can get a Rageful Plushie boosted, be in some, be in a very good position. I'll lead off with Himber because he has no way to get rid of Icicle Traps, and he has a lot of things weak to it, so let's utilize that to our advantage. Leads off with the Wrestling. Not great, so I'm gonna go into Sinogre and then throw a Poison on something. So yeah, we go into Sinogre here. There's no other Lumion I would rather go into here. Even if Bit Blaze punches me, I should still live the hit pretty well, because I am robust. Let's see what it does. It does predict the Blaze, but... As you can see, that didn't do that much. And I'm gonna go for a poison just to poison someone. If it's the Zulong. I just hope it's not Terrafly. I hope he doesn't go into Terrafly. I doubt that. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm actually a little nervous now. Uh. That's a little nerve wracking. <laughs> Fuck! He just sets up. Uh. All right, then, that is a little concerning. Well, he has 100% crits, but I'm, uh... Is it gonna crit me on the first attack? It didn't. Spectral Burst does some damage, hopefully. It does a lot of damage, actually. Rageful Plushie! Oh my gosh, we're gonna get swept by a rustling. Hey, at least we got a ranged defense drop, which kind of doesn't matter in this case. Can I play around this wrestling? Can I play around this wrestling? I'm just trying to think, can I play around it? Is there any way I can play around the wrestling? I have an idea. We'll go on the Pyroland. Hopefully, I can live a Blaze Punch at plus two. And then I can go into... Yeah, all right. Ow. Does a ton. But now, let's hope he goes for the other move. Now let's hope he goes for the other move, which Sinogre can soak in Adaptive Assault. That's basically the plan, is wasting a turn here. And... unsuccessful. It crit it, but that's fine. I'm still at an okay-ish HP, but I didn't want to lose that much HP on a wrestling. Didn't think he was going to click Quick Pounce, honestly. I thought he was just going to go for the Adaptive Assault, because Pyrolin's usually slower than wrestling. Nevermare comes on in, which is kind of... Which is a little concerning. But, we can go into Colossatrops. Go into Colossatrops gives me Rageful Plushy Boost. Rageful Plushy. Yep, Rageful Plushy Boost. Even on a crit. Doesn't even crit. Oh my goodness. So, ra Frail Armor and Rageful Plushy. So now it's my turn to do some Rageful Plushy shenanigans now. You might have your Rageful Plushy shenanigans. It's now my turn for some Rageful Plushy shenanigans. Goodbye, Nevermare. He could probably go on the Tatub and live a hit, though. So if he does go Tatub, I'm going to have to swap out. If he goes too long, I outspeed. Let's see what he does here. It's actually getting really interesting. I outspeed Zulong at plus two, unless this is a boot Zulong, which, let's see, we're gonna test. It's not a boot Zulong, so goodbye, Zulong. We might just get a Colossatrops Frail Armor Suite. So yeah, that would be fun. Our Sinogre did its job against the Wrestling, although I couldn't really bring it in against anything else because Colossatrops is just handling business. I can definitely use it against the Terra Claw, though. And it's a forfeit. Let's head into battle number two with Sinogre. All right, we're into battle number two with Sinogre. And that first battle went pretty well, but hopefully we can do it again. No brawler types, unfortunately. Although I can't get Driving Force from Harv, so that's good. Cannabo, yes. I can kind of use... Oh, no, there is a brawler type. Yeah, I could definitely use this against that and Garbantis, actually. 
everything can also get poisoned. That Mocho does not look nice, though. I'm a little worried about that thing, honestly. Mocho is going to be a bit of a nightmare to beat. I might just leave with Pyrolin, just so, you know, he can't, you know. You know what I mean. So he can't just Mocho sweep right away. We'll bring you because, my goodness, Icicle Traps, Icicle Traps, Icicle Traps. If we can get rid of Eruptodon, we're in a great position. Oh, and Phage Knot, which is a guaranteed swap in. So, yeah. Bring you. And I want to bring something for the Phage. So I'll bring Colossal Traps. Although Cosmere could be good for that thing. Not for the Garbantis, though, so I think we're fine. We're going to leave all with Pyrolin in case it's Mocho Lee, because a lot of people lead with our Mochos for some strange reason. Nope, it's a Garbantis lead. And does Garbantis really want to take a... The thing is... The thing is, does Garbantis really want to take a Boom Bash in the face? Because I want to... I just want to get rid of this thing early. Alright, you just lost... Alright, you just lost your Garbantis right off the start. I... I guess he tried to predict the swap. But I don't know why he would just lose it to this. I didn't go for the Fire Breath because I didn't want to get stuck in a move. Plus, Eruptodon's a thing. And it could be combustible, although it's usually secret ability. Exactly, that's why I didn't go for the Fire Breath. This thing's gonna be kinda tough to beat, actually. It's definitely gonna go for the Earthquake, 100%. I could go Sinogre and spite it, but... I don't know, I don't know if that's something I really wanna do. It's definitely going to, it's definitely going for the Earth Titan. There's no doubt about it, it's going for the Earth Titan now. I just don't get Frail Armor Boost from Colossatrons. Honestly, I think Sinogre is the best move here. And then I get a, and then I can poison it and hope take it out eventually. Yep, but slide. Doesn't do too much. Gonna go for uh Go for poison. I could provoke it, but I think I'm gonna go for poison. No! That's not what I wanted at all. Poison it. I gotta hit this. Thank you, you hit it. Now I'm going to go for Spite. Now I'm going to go for Spite to get it down to half health and just kickstart that poison. Try to kickstart that poison. Spite and Poison is a nice one-two punch. I think I could live one at plus two. I think I could still live one at plus two. Never mind! Erupted Dawn just has to be a flat-out nuke. Well, there goes the showcase, Lumion. Flame Shell plus two, yeah, just just takes out my showcase Slimian like it's nothing. At least I am Terra Shell Pearl, so <laughs> get out of here, up the dawn. Well, that was a great run for my Sin Ogre. Hopefully the poison's there enough, and it is. Good job. So we do take out the up the dawn, but still, I did not want to lose that when he had when he has Cannibo. Phage Knot comes in, which is basically just... Which is basically just a free Icicle Traps for me. Unless I guys for Flash and Flee. We'll see, though. What does it do? Power Draw? Nope. Not today. And Icicle Traps. And Icicle Traps. Flash and Flee? No big deal. Did a little bit of... Did a little more than I anticipated, but it's fine. Wibble Drift? I wish I got this in on the first attack. I should have just ice hammered it. I think he predicted an earthquake. I wish I got this in on the first attack. Will he go for a magnify or will he attack? I have no idea. I have no idea what you're gonna do here. I think I could live one nature's force. Let's go. Let's do it. Please live one. Just live one. Make it easy on me. Make it easy on me. It's gonna, it's gonna die, I think. Just because of what I know! Of course it dies! Of course it dies! Well, alright, Pyrolin, I need you more than ever now. Gosh dang it, we need you more than ever now. Fire Breath, just get rid of this thing. Snorspores! Are you kidding? Come on! The one Snorspores Whipple Drift! Now it's gonna set up the plus five zillion. Now it's gonna set up the plus five zillion. Thanks, game! Thanks! He's gonna set a magnify up. Yep, there it is! There it is! 
Even though they would never usually run store spores, here we are. Jetstream, don't crit. Please one shot the stupid Whipple Drift, please. Thank you. You deserve to die there, Whipple Drift. You deserve to die there more than ever for being annoying. Bajna and one more. What does he have left? Great! Mocho! That's just amazing! 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 You love to see it. I just die from this. Or it just goes for peace. No, it just decreases me. Now, alright. Alright, now. Now we just need Pyroland to wake up from its nap. Which it won't. We just need it to wake up from its nap now, which it won't. Please just wake up from your nap quick. Of course it doesn't wake up from its nap quick. It would been, it would just be too simple if it did. Now it gets a free piece of mine. No, just boom bash again. It's trying to get that RNG. It's lucky. Please just one shot the mocho. One shot the mocho. Flame shell, die mocho. Now I'm stuck into a move, but it doesn't matter. I don't, okay. Can we beat the Phage Knot still? Well, how is this battle so close? How is this battle so close? I'm stuck into a move, unfortunately. Hey, it'll be out of energy after this move, though, at least. Outspeeds me, unfortunately. I do live a hit, though. Shoutouts, I do live a hit. And it does take me out, but after this move, I should be okay. Even if it's the one, even if it's the one rant. Even if it's the one rant faging out of all time, we should still be okay. Because we should still live to hit. Just as long as I don't get paralyzed, we should be fine. Come on, Colossal, just win this game for us. You could two shot Fage on a plus two, I believe. And if not, I can just go for Brawn Boost. Does it go for the rest now? Let's see. Let's see what the Fage Knot does here. I probably should have went for a Brawn Boost. Oh no, I went for a rest. Can you two shot Fage? Please get it in the yellow. Yes! That's definitely in range. Definitely in range. Definitely in range. Power draw, not gonna do enough. Let's go, we actually win this battle. Let's go, we win. Unless there's one that I'm missing. Am I missing anything? Hopefully Sinogre does better in the third one, because yeah, that was just unfortunate. Yeah, battle number three. All right, this is the third battle. Technically the fourth, because I didn't use Sinogre in my last one. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is technically the fourth battle. But third, I'm going to show in the video. This actually looks like an okay team, if I can get rid of that Vesperatu. Which... How do I do that again? <laughs> how do I do that again? Question, I can't. Oh, no. He has his own Sinogre as well, with a Mocho... How do I beat that Stratosaur? How do I beat that Stratosaur and Vesperatu? Wakaluk isn't the worst. How do I beat the Chartiki on top of that? Uh, oh, I can bring Barbalas. I can bring you, because you could just do a ton. If I get a Frail Armor boost, which the only thing that's melee is that, so fun. I'll bring you, and I'll bring you, I think. I think that will be the team I bring. Kind of way, that Cephalops is going to kind of suck as well. So yeah, we're going to be careful. We're going to have to be very careful. He leads off with Sinogre. Two Sinogres. Wow! Sinogre versus Sinogre. Which Sinogre will win? Well, we're, I'm going to go for Poison. I'm just going to throw a Poison right off the bat. Not every day that you see two Sinogres. So his is offensive. I can tell by that. I can tell by that move that his Sinogre is offensive. My Sinogre is defensive. So, I throw a poison out on it. I'm gonna swap out. I know his is offensive, because one, he outsped mine, which... Mine has no speed investment, I believe. Yeah, no speed investment. And two... I actually did a decent amount of damage, so I'm gonna actually swap into... Probably Cosmo, although I might get spited. I don't want to get spited early. Yeah, I don't want anything to get spited. Although, I guess I could go Pyro in. Put some pressure on something. Even if he does go for Spite, this is still a solid play. I do get Spited. No big deal. I put extreme pressure on his team now. And I can honestly even Rejuvenate Spam. I'm going to Rejuvenate once, just to see what he does. He stays in. Probably the Spite again. Does he Spite again? 
Peace of mind. Oh, boy. Peace of mind. Well, all right. It's a setup sweeper. All right, then. But the poison's doing more and more. Just gonna go for a fire breath, and hopefully Volcanic Pyro Link can beat a plus one. Let's see. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Let's go. Plus one Volcanic. That's how you do it. Best Bratu, though, gets a free slap down. Best Bratu, though, gets a free slap down. Which isn't the best situation for me. Went Cephalops, actually. Kind of surprising you went Cephalops. A little, just a little bit. Because I outspeed, I live a tsunami. So, that's fine. Yeah. And honestly, we just go for it again, I guess. Let's do it again. Let's just do a ton of damage to the Cephalops. Let's do it again. Woo! Ton of damage. Volcanic Pyrolin, though, is now dead. It's now dead. But we can go into Osmior. Because I outspeed this one. My Pyrolin outsped, and this shit outspeed. So Meteor Crash coming its way. And goodbye to the Cephalops. So that's big, getting rid of that. I'm not sure how I'm going to get the... I'm not sure, though, how I'm going to get the... Sinogre in through the battle, though. I'm not sure I'm going to get the Sinogre in. That's the hardest part, honestly. Just bringing it in. Into a good matchup. Like, I'm going to... Like, the thing is... I have to stay in. <laughs> I have to stay in. Actually, outspend your vest? Huh? Huh? I outspent his Vesp? Ow! Is that a defensive Vesperatu? It's gotta be! Alright, this is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets a little interesting now. Actually, no, we got this. Thunder Chomp! Thunder Chomp. And air the Reflection Burst, which, which shouldn't do that much against me. As much as I want to do, Zen Ogre. You know, it's I got a thunder. It's a thunder chomp, so I gotta do it. Thing is, I gotta threaten Stratosaur. If I don't threaten a Stratosaur, it will sweep me. It's a clutch one too. So yeah, at least I got it down to no health. And he knows, so that's why he perched. I think he just wanted to see what I was doing. I want to predict the swap, but there's no reason to when there's a Stratosaur on the field. Yeah, this is my rev up one. I'm not setting up. The Stratosaur is a threat. That's why I brought the Munch Wheel today. And this is why it's clever as well. <laughs> yeah, only I would make a clever Munch Wheel to counter a Stratosaur. Even though you could just use Hunter. But hey, at least Stratosaur's not dead. And I outspeed everything, so that's good. Who is your last Lumion? Zulong? Bit Zulong might go into... Oh no. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Uh, Code Red. If I miss Steel Crusher, I'm screwed. And I'm not. Ton of damage. Need a plus one! But it's gonna get a little piece? No, it just booms. It tries to KO! It does not quite. And it's Milkshake, which is good. I kind of want him to defeat my Mocho, though, so... Just, I believe I can actually live. I'm going into Sonogre. I want to use it. I want to use Sonogre, so I'm going into it. If it clicks peace of mind, I'm going to cry. Yeah, nope, it went for boom. And we could actually get a KO with this. We're going to do one more battle because, again, I couldn't really bring it in. I, I did poison his Sonogre, though, which was nice. But other than that, didn't really do that much else. There's a Frost Beam... Doesn't do that much. A spectral burst comes in hot. And that will be battle number two done. Three done. Here comes battle number four. Alright, battle number four. Hopefully we get a good matchup because, yeah. Alright, Harvestect is kind of a good matchup. The fence form is a stinker. Especially if it's Empathize. Although I can spite it, so it's not like I can't do anything against it. Plus, I think spite actually works against Eclipse now, so that's really good. Imperior, not the worst, not the worst. Metatode is unfortunate. I gotta, I gotta be very careful against the Toad if I want to beat it. I think I'm gonna lead with you because you're gonna lead with Toad. 
You could also leave with Bar Badger and just flat out sweep me right off the start. <laughs> That's also something else I should keep in mind. Uh, not you. I'll bring you, and I'll bring you. Actually, no, I gotta need you for Teclipse. I should be fine. It's only a Teclipse. We'll be fine, right? Imperial lead, actually. All right, then. It's an Imperial lead. I'm just gonna go for an Earthquake because it does less damage. Uh-oh. It's a burn. It's a burn ogre. It's a boot! Wow, all right. That's something I did not expect right away. I guess he predicted the Icicle Traps. I might outspeed this thing now. That's fine, I'm fine with that. Nah, I'm gonna have to play around, though. That is the Lumion I'm gonna have to play around somehow. So how do I play around this? We go Sinogre, and we gotta spite it. We gotta spite it once. We gotta spite the Sinogre. Not, not spite the Sinogre. You know what I mean with spite. Y'all know what I mean with spite. We just spite it. But we could have also provoked it. Nice. Yeah, I, I should have just provoked it. I was dumb on my part. Because he just places the barbs. Well, we could provoke it now. We could provoke it now, at least. It's only just barbs, not poison, so we're fine. Can't drive and force me. It only wants to do damn attacking moves. So we just bite it down until he's dead, I guess. And then once we place Icicle Traps up, we'll be in a great position. So, let's see. Are you Empathize? Does Empathize even work? Can't Driving Force me. Cannot Driving Force me whatsoever, Sinogre. You're going to have to swap out or you lose your Gargolem. Defense 4. And I know I know for a fact you don't want to... Oh, that's a miss. He's spamming Driving Force. Am I going to have to provoke this thing again? Yes, I'm going to have to provoke it again. Alright, get provoked again. <laughs> Why is he playing this one out? So I can just re-provoke you. You can't Driving Force me out. I can rest, fight you. Yeah, it's getting HP back. I think that's why he's playing it through. I hope I miss a few. Go for a rest. Honestly, he should just rest on defense form at this rate. Yeah, he, he, he just rested. I need to get it into, like, the very red if I want to KO it. Two sets of barbs is unfortunate. I don't think he wants anything to take a spike. That's the reason why he's staying in. Yeah, this is a great matchup for Sinogre. Spite? You, you have to swap out or you lose more HP on your Gargolem, which I know you don't want to lose. Just the question is, who do you want to threaten me? Who do you want to threaten me with? Imperior? I think Imperior is our best option. And I think he did. I think that's what he just did. Do you still get a plus one? Nope, it's fixed. Let's go. Let's go. We can provoke and spite it now. Gamble Pull sucks, but no big deal. No big deal. We still lived okay. We poisoned the Eclipse. And yeah, that's how we play around at the Eclipse. How to play around its Eclipse one-on-one. -on -one. We could use this, save this for the Sinogre. And now that Eclipse is in a very bad position for the rest of the flight. Now who do we go into? Who do we go into? Die on Bar Blast? No. I don't want to do that. Recommendedly, I don't want to do that. There's a Cosmior. I could place Icicle Traps of Timber. Not a bad option. It could go for Dark Surge and one-shot Colossa, and I don't really want that. I feel like going into Bar Blast is the best option. Or Hember. I think I have to go Bar Blast. Dang it! I don't I didn't want to lose this with Eclipse. Didn't want to lose this with Eclipse. It looks like it might actually happen. Yeah, it looks like I am gonna lose this with Eclipse. Oh, maybe. It's gonna be close. Gonna be close. Gonna be close. Let's see. Yeah, his Eclipse is rather... is in trouble. Especially if I live. Nope, he's just gonna try to get the flinch and get lucky. I think I live a Dark Surge, though, anyway. Yeah, I live anyway, so that's fine. I'm actually kind of shocked I did not get flinched by a Dark Surge. Which, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool not getting flinched by a Dark Surge. 
I'm just gonna click Rejuvenate again. Yeah, he swapped out, he knows. He knows this Eclipse is good to keep later. Oxy Drake comes on in, which I can throw a Poison on. There, there are things I can do against this Oxy Drake. Honestly, I can just throw a Toxic Blast on it. Uh oh. Uh, not good. Not good. And that doesn't do too much damage, neither. Poison. And let's hope this isn't Mysterious Dust. Because if this is Mysterious Dust, we're screwed. I hit the poison, at least. If this is Mysterious Dust, we're screwed. You better not be a Mysterious Dust Oxydrake, because otherwise we're screwed. <laughs> Ember, don't go for Steel Crusher or Outburst. Live. Ember, please. Oh my gosh, it's plus three. It's plus three. Oh no, it's plus three. Well, I outspeed you, Oxy Drake. This is all he has left. This is how he wins. It's a plus three Oxy Drake. We just gotta hope he's not Mysterious Dust, which he's staying in, so he probably is. Is it Rage the Plushie as well? Driving's Force. I live! Yes! Now, Range Attacker, now! Sinogar! Not you! That's not what I wanted! At least I get health, but not really. I should outspeed this, right? Right? Come on, Sinogar, just beat it. Yes! It's dead, because it's going to click Rejuvenate. Thank you. Thank you, Sinogre. Now, I can still save you for a defense form. I can still save you for defense form. If Imperior comes in, we can go into Bar Blast. Eclipse is low. He still has one more left at, like, full HP. We have stunned his team, which is really good. I kind of hope he goes defense form, so I can just provoke it. <laughs> oh, no! Uh-oh. Uh, Code Red. Really Code Red, actually. I, I'm serious when I say legit Code Red. It's literally legitimately Code Red. Well, we just sacked Clossatrops. <laughs> we just gotta say, bye Clossatrops, you're dead. <laughs> Pretty much, just gotta say, adios, goodbye. Goodbye! Like, I don't know what else you do in that specific situation. So yeah, now we go Cosmere and we soak one hit, so that's fine. He probably goes back to Fence Form, which if he does, I swap into something else. And I get a free Spite on something. Or a free Poison on something, and he knows that. Honestly, he may just go Imperior and just try to try to get a Resentful, then go back Bar Badger. Which, that would be actually kind of smart on his part if he does that. Let's see if that's what he does. I really want to get an Icicle Traps up, but I just don't think I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm going to get an Icicle Traps up. I think he's hoping he one-shots me. He, I think he's going for it. He is. He's going for the one-shot. Not even close. A crit, maybe. That's why he stayed in. He's Clutch Plushy. Alright, that's why he stayed in. That makes a little bit more sense now. I'll go Bar Blast, because I feel like... I feel... No, he's Clutch Plushy. He's not Clay Slap. What am I thinking? That's a bad play on my part. Why did I do that? There's a nice hammer. Ow. Water Bomb. You throw a Water Bomb on something. Yeah, that Imperior is going to be a nightmare. Imperior is going to be a nightmare. I don't know how I'm going to beat that. Eclipse is not the worst. Honestly, not even Defense Form is the worst. Yeah, this is a tough situation. I just hope he goes Imperior, because I can Quick Punch the Barbadger. I can Quick... Yep, he knows. Just with one. Terra Pearl, let's go, Terra Pearl. Terra Pearl for the clutch. You'll love to see it. I think I would have still lived anyway, but still, like, now I'm out of energy, so Imperior's just free me. It's just free Imperior bait now. 
It's just free and pure your bait now. That's not the worst. Alright then. Your driving's forced me into... Oh, well. Am I dead from barbs now? Oh no, it's still... No, it's Timber! No, that's fine. That's actually okay. That's actually okay, because an ice hammer gets thrown. An ice hammer gets thrown, so that's fine. An ice hammer gets thrown. Even if he goes Imperial Earth Eclipse. He just gets rid of Eclipse! Wow, he gets rid of Eclipse! That's the last thing I anticipated him to get rid of. Didn't think he was going to throw that one away, but okay. Imperial. This thing is a night. And he's still at relatively high health, too. I'm Boots. I still don't outspeed this? How? How do I still not outspeed that? Oh yeah, how do I beat this? <laughs> How do I beat this? We can't now. Unless we go Barblast? I can't, I can't do anything here. Uh, I can't do anything, really. I really can't do anything. Unless he runs out of energy. We'll go Cosme, or maybe we'll speed it somehow. Well, I mean, if a Boots thing couldn't outspeed it, I don't think this will. Yeah, dang it. Dark Surge. Crit as well. Yeah, I don't think we win this. I think we lost. Yeah, we definitely lose this, I think. Especially if you have Truth Oh, well, you have Barter. You have Barter, so I'm not sure. It will have Shrewd Blast, and, it'll pro and even then, even not, even if it's not. Does he have enough for two Shrewds? I don't think so. Does he have enough for two Shrewds? Even then, Shrewd's enough to take me out. Yeah, we lost this, I think. We definitely lost this, unfortunately. We're throwing a Poison, just so you know. Where does he Barter? I don't see a reason for him to, because he literally cannot hit me. He literally cannot hit me. Does he have Shrewd? Does he have Shrewd? I'm poisoning, because that's the play anyway. Tribute? Huh? Huh? Well, now I gotta get his Sino Now I gotta get his Gargolem to no A health. You have Empathize, so... Provoke! Provoke. Do you even have an attacking move? Oh, you do. Alright, you do have an attacking move. I didn't think... I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think this thing did. So, alright, then Spite. I should've just Spiked it in. I'm definitely not gonna KO this thing, it looks like. It's gonna be out of energy really soon, though. <laughs> yeah, this ain't, this ain't going no. I think we lost to this. Yeah, we lost this in a stall fest. Yeah, this was just a stall fest. You go for a wait. Yeah, that thing having health emulet is really owning me. It's calmed down to use support moves as well. At minus two, I don't think it will be enough. I didn't think he had attacking moves, so that's why I was just like, yeah, provoke, why not? We'll go for one more spite, and then we'll actually spectral burst our way. No, I think we wait again, then spite. That's our only way we could win. We spite, and then we go for spectral burst. He rests it now anyway, so that's fine. I could have maybe just attacked it. <laughs> this is just a ridiculous last battle. Yeah, we definitely lost this last one, but who knows? Maybe I crit, so yeah, I'm just gonna go with Spectral Burst now. He, he crits, he wins. If I crit, I win. That's basically what this is down to. Like, we can't finish neither. Neither of us can't finish each other otherwise. Eventually, he will finish me off first, but 
It's how it goes. Oh, I got a crit! Oh my gosh, I got a crit! Does he crit me back? <gasps> he did it! Oh my gosh! We have, are we gonna win from that? We, we won from that. That's a win, right? That's a win, right? Oh my gosh, I think we won because of a crit. Did we win because of a crit? It's, it's still not gonna KO him, <laughs> it's probably. Oh my gosh, we got a crit at the right possible time and won! Oh my gosh! Said Ogre with the KO! Oh my gosh, the RNG comes on my side, wow. And I feel bad for him, I would be livid if that happened to me. But yeah, Stall Ogre really showed its worth in that fourth battle. That was probably one of the goofiest endings of all time. But yeah, Sin Ogre, honestly it's pretty good. Very good provoke user, very good poison user, and with Spite, makes it extremely dangerous. Hope you guys enjoyed this battle and enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!